It's 7.30 in the morning. I thought, what better way to start the week than start a weekly vlogging situation? I've got quite a few things on this week, so I thought I might just jam everything into one video. I really like watching vlogs. They're probably my most favorite videos to watch. And I thought, why not actually start making my own vlog so I have memories for myself and to bring you guys along with me on the daily journey. This week especially, I actually have like a few things on. Last week, I actually started a new weekly makeup tutorial that I've been posting on Instagram and I had such a positive feedback on that. So I just wanted to follow on from that. Keep up doing my Instagram videos with the makeup looks because I feel like that's something that you guys really enjoyed watching. So I thought instead of me putting up another makeup video on my YouTube channel and doubling up on them, I thought maybe I could do like a follow me around you know, what I get up to. I've just moved into my house. I really want to share with you bits and pieces of things that have been going on. Obviously, behind the scenes, this is literally a disaster zone. I want to show you my new beauty room. I want to show you my new plants that I've got. I'm going to start cleaning up my beauty room because I want to really quickly, I don't start work until 10 today. So I've got a little bit of time. So I want to quickly clean up my room. I've just had a shower and um, I want to show you around my room and then I'm going to quickly film my little Instagram video, show you kind of what I do when I am doing that. Honestly, this is what happens every week when I am trying to clean my room up. You, I just end up getting dressed and then just shit goes everywhere. So it's kind of annoying. Like, why do I have a squeegee in here? Annoying, so I've gone to film my video. My phone did not charge. So I've just got to quickly wait for my phone to sort of charge up, but while I'm waiting, I wanted to show you my new family member. Also, we got screen doors put in. So they look really good. So I wanted to share my mate Carl. Look at him. He's so beautiful. So I haven't taken it out of the pot yet, but I bought this from Kmart and... Um, Obviously, it is way too small. I just loved it because it was like the mint kind of color. So this is my first cactus that I've ever gotten, guys. Like, it's so nice. I haven't really got any um, outside yet. I'm still trying to situate myself. But I just went over to my mom's house and picked up my olive tree. So I've got this little guy here. I'm so in love with him. He's already grown probably, like, I reckon that much since I've had him. It's pretty big. But yeah, I need to, to redo the pot. I need to get the oil. We need to situate the lawn. Like, John needs to mow. And it's just getting so long. Like, I had a look down here. Like, look at this. I feel like maybe if I shame him in this video, he will cut it. But yeah, so far the backyard is looking really cute. Since we've moved into the house, I've actually gotten into plants so much more. I feel like it just really makes like the home feel so much more homely, if that kind of makes any sense. I actually did, I do have one more other plant and this is Freya. She is a gift that I got off one of my clients and she is a dwarf fig. So I really like that. But as you can kind of see, like we're sort of like pretty empty. Like there's not really much. Like I've got an actual, um, what are they called? I'm just so sick to death of actually like not having anywhere to eat considering, you know, we've been eating on the lounge and it's just so not nice. But look how many she is there. But yeah, so and we've just recently just finished our glass. We're waiting for the top rail to be put on. So it's slowly, slowly coming together. But I'm going to go check my phone and see if it's 
charged. All right, I'm on 43%, so I'm going in and I'm filming my video. I have a fair idea, I think. Crap, but I'm definitely gonna go in and use my Huda Beauty. This legit, if you don't watch my Instagram stories, you wouldn't know, but this, honest to God, has to be the best foundation in this shade. It matches my skin tone. It matches my, my fake tan. It matches my faded off tan. It stays on all day, and it's just like the right amount of dewiness. I don't know. It's just amazing. So if you have dehydrated skin, I would highly recommend this one because I'm actually that obsessed with it i think i'm almost halfway through it so if you're looking for one and you have dehydrated skin give that a whirl i'm gonna go damp my sponge get myself sorted and i'll be back once my makeup's done so glad that i cleaned up my makeup desk <sighs> so here's my instagram video makeup look i really like this actually i just wanted to share with you guys i actually have tried a new lipstick out and i am obsessed with it it's so nice it just really goes with my skin and it looks really pretty it's the maybelline matte 535 purely nude lipstick and it is the models prefer intense color lip liner in the color always nude that's original why am my face not focusing? Because Kate Moss is in the background and she's taking over. Yeah, so that is the makeup look. I actually have to go to work now, so I'm going to have to sign off for a little while. And if I might take my camera with me because what's the time? No, I've got time. I want to show you something. I'm so obsessed with these jeans. If you are really tall like me, and you are looking for, you are wanting to find a pair of jeans. These ones are really cute. They're from Supre. They were $40. I literally can't buy jeans from anywhere else anymore because no one has any that actually fit me. And these are the only ones that actually look good. I've actually got quite a few pairs now. So I don't know, like they actually look really good. I love them. <sighs> good morning, guys. Oh my God, today is just really not my day. I woke up this morning to find the biggest blind pimple, if I ever did see one. Um, so tonight I'm actually going to my sister's boyfriend's birthday and it's in the city. So I was going to, I washed my hair last night, but I didn't, look at it. I've actually been using the the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner and I mean for, for normal people like this is super fluffy but for me I feel like this is so toned down. I literally just washed it last night and then let it air dry and just dried off pretty much like whatever was wet before I went to bed because I hate going to bed with wet hair. Um, but yeah, I woke up this morning with the worst blind pimple on my face. Like I feel like for a blind pimple, they're easier to cover because they're just not like a normal one. But either way, I just, I think this is because it's Easter because I've been eating lots of chocolates and I don't normally eat that much chocolate. But I read online that apparently if you get like a hot washcloth, put it under hot water and you just kind of press it against your skin for 15 minutes but my taps don't really go that hot this morning john's at work and i'm gonna go meet him at one of my friend's houses so that's why he doesn't finish work until about one o'clock and we're gonna meet at my friend's house at two and we're gonna go into the city i need to change over a dress that i bought for tonight because the store that i bought it from I only had it in the eight and like, don't get me wrong. It actually doesn't look too bad in the eight, but because I'm so tall, I feel like the arms are just a little bit too long. So we have to go and buy um, my sister's boyfriend's birthday present in the city while we're up there. So I thought while I'm there, I'll take it with me. If they have a 10, I'll get it changed. But yeah, I'm going to have a shower. I'm going to wash my tan off, moisturize, Finish packing my bag. Been working so hard on my in 
on my Instagram and I've been doing heaps of videos lately. Today is literally the first day that I haven't done anything and I feel so guilty, but I'm going to give myself the day off even though I'm still blogging, but I'll just kind of take you around and I'll show you what I'm packing and yeah, but I'm going to jump in the shower and then I'm going to straighten my hair, just kind of get everything organized so that when we go up, I go up to the city, it's all going to be there. But oh, why is it that whenever you get the pimple, it's never on a freaking Monday, a time when you're not doing anything. It's so annoying. I really like this tan. This is the Bondi Sands Ultra Dark. So after I tan, I always like to use a moisturizer. This is the 4-in-1 Nivea Firming Body Oil. This is what I always put on after my tan and throughout the week. I always feel like this one really hydrates me and really gives me like that nice glow. Then when I'm going out on the night out, I'll rub the J Bronze um, Shimmer Instant Luminizer. This is what I'll put on like my legs and my chest, but my outfit that I'm wearing tonight is high neck and long sleeve, but it's like a mini. So I'll put that on my legs. Okay, so I'm gonna go get changed, moisturized, spray a little bit of extra tan on, and I'll be back. Okay, so now that my hair's all straight, that looks a lot better, doesn't it? I actually quite like it when my regrowth starts growing out and my hair goes a bit darker. I don't know. I think I'm just done with the whole really blonde look. I'm just, yeah, I'm just over it. I've just also finished packing all my makeup because I'll do all my makeup when I get up there. Also, I want to show you this jacket that I bought actually the other day. It's so nice. How cool is it? It's like a cropped fur jacket and you will never believe where I got it from. I got this jacket from Supre and it was also on sale. How nice is it? I was actually going to buy one from DeCuba, but it wasn't exactly the kind of color that I wanted. But this is just great. And I thought, I think I paid like $40 for it. I mean, how cute is it? For 40 bucks, like I just love it. Now I've cleaned my kitchen. I'm gonna finish packing my bag and I'm gonna go. John's beard is. It's getting there. And he accidentally cut it. Tell them what you did. I was shaving and I accidentally went a bit too close to the skin, didn't I? So. And now he won't shave it off. Because I know you don't like it. I hate it. Do you look so you tell me you really like it, I won't shave it. I, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lady. I didn't want to vlog when we were in the city because there was like a million people. Why don't you just vlog them there? I don't know, because it's embarrassing when people stare at it because they're texting me out. How's your shower, doll? Thank fucking God. Don't swear on the vlog. Look what Heath made. This is my makeup station. That's beautiful. Stop swearing in the vlog. Al Pacino. Heath, what do you think about his beard? She doesn't like my beard, I'm oh. so good. <laughs> See? Show me John. Oh, he, you look like a 40 year old fruit man. So be it, Lee. Kind of. These pants, I'm going to tie them on a one ever again. Why? They're just heavy and shit. So, I'm just editing the vlog and I've realised I was a terrible blogger. I actually completely forgot to, to vlog my makeup. To be honest, there was like a few things that had happened um, that took my mind off wanting to vlog. But yeah, I just, I feel so bad because I feel like that that was such a good vlog and I wish that you could have seen my outfit. But 
yeah, I'm going to sign off and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye guys.